Welcome back to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the latest episode of the never-ending love triangle of Lil Baby, Jada Wada, and whoever else is involved this week. This time, it's this alleged nurse named Kaya or Kia. Guys, this is so ratchet and so full of drama, but I'm here to unpack some of this stuff because a lot of it is bullshit. A lot of it is smoke and mirrors and I'm going to be poking holes in some of Kaya's story because this is a clout chasing wannabe IG baddie. You know, it's really crazy because a lot of women say that their men cheat with women who look up to them and that is what's going on here. This Kaya chick wants to be popular, wants to be an Instagram baddie, want to um, be booked and busy and at the clubs and on the reality shows like Jada and Ari and all the other chicks who are interchangeable. Now, I'm going to start with this came to my attention on TikTok because I'm scrolling on TikTok and it comes across my For You page that Jada is crashing out on Snapchat over handbags. She's like, oh, I'm not going to be rocking Chanel like that anymore like I'm retiring Chanel bags you know I'm on to like you know just Hermes and Birkins so tired so tacky so childish but this is all because allegedly Lil Baby bought a bunch of bags for this Kaya chick and I don't necessarily believe that all that happened um I believe she may have gotten some money in a couple of handbags out of Lil Baby but when you look at the Instagram post from Kaya you can tell that a lot of those bags are fake now a lot of them are Goyard bags but the display and the setup looks very DH gate and some of the girls online have called her out. Some of them online are like, those bags are fake. Lil Baby did not buy her shit. You know, this is all like a setup because she's trying to like clout chase and trying to be popular. And again, I'm gonna get into this Kaya or Kia chick in just a moment, but you know, Jada's like crashing out online and people are like, of course, adding their two cents in. And a lot of people are telling Jada the truth, like, girl, move on. Your baby daddy is always dogging you out. And, you know, people are just relating them to your typical toxic BM and BD who never really let each other go. They're still smashing, you know, years into the relationship or lack of relationship. But, um, you know, B Jada's becoming like the BM that just like hangs around waiting on her baby daddy to like choose her and it's really sad because you know when Jada popped up pregnant by little baby I was like did she do this to secure the bag and um as time has gone on I'm like no she clearly did this because she always wanted this guy to be in her life and like those of us who are mature know um when you pull a stunt like that we kind of see that with Janae Iko and Big Sean, when you pull that pregnancy stunt to try to keep a man who you kind of feel like is, you know, slipping out of your grasp, it only creates more distance. It never works to bring you guys closer together. Children um, definitely do their number on relationships. Your relationship will never be the same after a child. And let's talk about it for Jada and women like her, it makes it harder for them to move on because they are always going to be, again, having to deal with this person. They're always gonna be seeing this guy. They're always gonna have to talk to this guy, at least until the child becomes an adult. So when you always have to be around the person that triggers you, it makes it hard to heal. Um, also, Jada is not even 30 years old and has created a lot of baggage. Now she comes with emotional baggage and trauma from all of the wrongdoings that Lil Baby has done to her, that she's like still holding on from, that she's again struggling to heal from. And then now she's bringing a child into her next relationship. So Jada has again made it harder for herself to move on from somebody that's constantly traumatizing her 
because she has, again, continued to let them traumatize her. And then she's created a child, which now she has baggage. Now it's harder to move on to her next thing. Um, she's not helping herself. I did not know that this damn girl moved in an apartment across the way from little baby like somehow some way they're like living close to each other again moving near him and i've heard this multiple times like she's moved she kind of like constantly moves to like you know stalk him track him down and like all of this and it's just insane you know but you know what happens with, with women like jada they get with guys who already have kids because it's easy to forget that little baby had a son when he met Jada. They get with guys who already have kids and they think that they're going to be different. They don't understand that if he abandoned her and he didn't marry her and he left her to be a single mother, he's going to do the same to you. He's not interested in marriage or commitment. Your love, your coochie, your cooking, whatever you do, your body is not better than the next chick. We see this with Miracle Watts. And again, the list goes on and on and on and on. There are a lot of women who think that, who have this very narcissistic mindset, and that's why they attract, or excuse me, entertain, because again, I think the new age has people kind of screwed up in believing that everything is about, oh, you attract this person, you attract that person. When you're a good looking person, especially, you're gonna attract a lot of different people. It's who you choose, it's who you entertain that, um, and who you end up with, that is the definition of who you are and a reflection of who you are. And so with these women, a lot of these women are very materialistic, very vapid, very shallow, vain women. And then they end up with men who are the exact same way. And then they wonder why they are not in a loving, healthy relationship. And it's because, well, you know, you're not that kind of person yourself. Again, in your mind, because you have a better BBL or a bigger BBL and a longer weave and more Instagram followers, you think that you are better than his last BM. You know what I mean? And then you end up in the same boat as the person who you were looking down on. I see it every time. I see it time and time again. So ladies, let this be a cautionary tale. Protect your womb and... Just watch how a person moves because if they do one person a certain way, you are not special. When it comes to um, little baby, I, I'm starting to think the same thing with Drake and a lot of these other guys. It's very obvious that these Instagram botched chicks are cover girls, their beards, because you know what's also crazy is Jada is running behind a alleged fruity man. Like, girl, he doesn't want to settle down with any of you chicks because he's into guys. Like, have we not seen Lil Baby hugged up and booed up on Mike Rubin's plane and leaving Mike Rubin's hotel room or like waking up on the balcony, you know, bright and early after the all white party on Mike Rubin's, you know, again, hotel room balcony. He was, again, in a man lock with Mike Rubin and just giggling and cackling like a fucking Instagram body himself on Mike Rubin's jet. So girl, you're running behind somebody that doesn't like women, okay? And that is another reason why these men feel so comfortable with, again, um, running through women and treating women like they're so disposable is because they really don't even like women. They are using women to try to convince themselves that they're straight and try to convince the world that they're straight, but they really don't like women. And then again, I'm gonna turn that back on the women who they mess with. A lot of those women are very backstabby, are very, again, catty, nasty, messy, and again, very mean-spirited towards other women. And see what I'm saying? Like, so y'all both hate females. Y'all both hate the female species. And again, you wonder why he's not treating you special. Well, you don't treat other women very well, okay? But again, you think that you're the exception to the rule. Y'all, we gotta talk about it, okay? Now, I'm gonna get on this Kaya chick. This woman looks insane. You know, you guys hype up anything that is non-black, 
um, with the BBL. This woman or anything that's fair skin, if she's black, anything that's lighter, anything that's lighter than a paper bag, y'all hype up. This woman looks crazy. Her fucking horseshoe hips, big ass BBL, and the people online are saying that she looks like Gypsy Rose, which she does. Now, I don't think the girl is ugly. I think she's um, a, a halfway decent looking Latina woman, but she looks insane with that BBL. She would look a lot prettier if she didn't have that big fake ass. She looks crazy. And once again, like somebody on the internet said, y'all non-black women think that y'all are so much better than black women because your skin is lighter or you have straight hair, but you do everything in your power. You risk your life going to foreign countries to get fake bodies that emulate black women. Make it make sense. Just a hot ass mess. And again, Lil Baby clearly has a thing for botched bodies because this woman's body looks just like Jada's. Big ass man-made tooth hips and two botched melons to go along with it. They both look insane. Crazy ass fake boobs. Like, oh my gosh. I just really hate what, you know, Instagram and the thirst for instant for club bookings and male validation from not even like top level dudes male validation from again bisexual fucking puppets this is what y'all chop y'all face and body up for like it is just sad but this kaya chick gets on my nerves you know why she gets on my nerves because she is like a lot of these chicks who get online and they want to parade around like they're boss bitches. And oh yeah, I'm a nurse, aren't they all? I'm a nurse, I'm a CNA, I'm an RN, I'm a, a LP and you know, I'm all of this. And, or I, I have a boutique or I have a business, you know, of some sort. They swear up and down that they have so much emotion. They're just the bossiest bitches, but they're really sex workers. And again, you can tell when you start to wake up and see things for the truth, you start to see that again, there is no way that you are really putting in hours at somebody's hospital or somebody's clinic when you're never at work. You're always on vacation. You're always, you know what I'm saying, in a hotel, on a beach, at the club. You know, these girls are never at anybody's hospital unless they're getting surgery. They're never at anybody's clinic unless they're getting fillers, but they want you to believe that they just really work hard for the money at these jobs and that they're really clocking in and that they're really saving lives and help. like, get the fuck out of here. You bitches are ladies of the night. Y'all, <laughs> I'm really trying to keep it clean because I'm just disgusted because y'all disgrace actual women who get up and who go to fucking work and who really get their money and who really are not selling out to live these glamorous, luxurious, hard to attain fucking lifestyles. Y'all are pathetic with that shit because that's why there is such a blurred line these days between, again, the women who actually go to work, the legit woman, and you fucking hoes because so many of y'all want to, again, wear the uniform of a working woman but you really are a fucking hoe. You really are a thot. You really get flown out and, you know, let a bunch of men touch you for fucking handbags. Y'all bitches are, are living in fucking Airbnbs. Let's talk about it. Y'all are hopping from Airbnb to Airbnb, living out of fucking hotels, you know, getting dropped off by Ubers and all of this other shit. You bitches are living very pillow to post but getting touched every which way for a fucking bag. Like, no. And Jada, you are a fucking bird. Because if you were a grown ass mature woman, you wouldn't be pressed every time your fucking baby daddy goes and buys a bitch a purse. And you wouldn't be moving from apartment to apartment and renting fucking houses. You would be living in a fucking mansion that's paid for. Or you would have a fucking mortgage in a gated community. You running around the internet getting mad over some fucking sex worker when you need to be focused on sending your kid to the best private schools and putting him in a safe gated community like a grown ass woman. You should be focused on, again, is the fucking mortgage paid? 
My name is on the deed. You know, is my insurance right? Do we have the best health insurance? But no, you, you know, caught up over fucking bird antics on the internet. This shit is sad because y'all leave no good example for younger women. This is why there's so many birds running around these days who all they want from a man is material things and their biggest concern is where a man takes them out to eat. When it's a lot bigger than that, you should be trying to get, again, a fucking ring in a house that a nigga cannot take from you. If he decides he wants a divorce, you get in the house. Kim K taught me. I'm sick of y'all. Like, y'all, y'all stay worrying about petty, material, dumbass shit. And it's just pathetic. Like, it's pathetic and y'all are a bad example and not just be like, who the fuck raised y'all? Like, y'all are some damn squawking fucking chickens. When it comes to this Kaya chick, she's a hot ass mess. She looks like Gypsy Rose in the face with a BBL. And the people are saying that she was just hanging out with Drake not too long ago. And there are photos of her at some club with Drake. Again, she's a pass around. She wants to be famous. That's why she's on the internet taking all these scandalous photos, you know, again, I believe that she is the one feeding this story about her and little baby to the blogs. And, you know, because she's trying to get clout, she's trying to get her name out there. She's trying to be famous. Um, do I believe she's a real CNA hard pass? She, or excuse me, a real RN hard pass. She might be a CNA at best. But it looks like, like somebody on the internet said, she bought some scrubs off of Amazon, some tight ass scrubs. That'd be pissing me off with y'all too. Buying these tight ass scrubs, walk around these fucking medical um, offices looking completely insane. And you wonder why you can't even properly fucking take people's blood because you're fucking de facto. Like you are not legit, you're a fraud and you're a goddamn sex worker and you are you're, you know, fake working in these fucking hospitals and shit, about to fucking kill people's grandma because all you really wanna do is fucking work the pole or, you know, again, work the fucking jets or work the yachts. Like y'all are pathetic. But this girl might be a CNA. She took a couple of pictures. We only have one slideshow on Instagram of this girl in any type of hospital outfit. She got some scrubs, took a couple of photos, of course, lashes up to her fucking eyebrows, looking like the sex worker that she is, talking about, oh yeah, I'm the RN. Bitch, lies. Lies. And I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. Like, y'all are fucking, again, pathetic because y'all disgrace women that actually work. So... This is all a mess. Um, I'm wishing Jada healing and self-esteem and self-love. And um, she better watch herself because, again, if little Baby is at Freak Offs, a.k.a. Mike Rubin's all-white party, girl, you better watch your health. Because, again, it's not like these CNAs and RNs can really fucking help you because they want to do the same shit that you doing. Laid up with some washed-ass rapper, you know, begging for bags. So this girl, um, you know, Kaya, I hope this video and everybody else that's posting this tea, um, and the only reason why it's getting any press is because Jada's crashing out. So Jada, see what I'm saying? Recognize your value as to why you don't need to be, um, you know, giving so much petty shit attention because this is a clout chasing ass hooker. And you throwing shade on the internet has given her the attention that she was looking for. Now she's feeding the stories blogs. Now she's all on the internet threads posting, you know, about herself so people can, you know, give her attention because she's trying to get on. If she was working at anybody's hospital, she's not trying to go back. She's trying to sprinkle, sprinkle her way into, again, your fucking spot. And it's just a damn shame. It's just a, a shame to see what this generation is coming to. But that's just my two cents. Um, if Blue Baby bought her any bags, you know, again, girl, you need to stock and sell them and liquidate them because these bags don't really hold value. But this girl posts up on, um, you know, IG with her birthday talking about, you know, she wants to make it seem like some man did all this stuff for her. This, this is all, again, her money to try to make it seem like she's got a sponsor, to try to make it seem like, yeah, they, you know, he's tricking on me, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying she doesn't have a few sponsors. She's an escort. But what I'm saying is she's over hyping 
she's overhyping herself for press and publicity and views. Kaya, enjoy your five minutes of fame. And, you know, one thing I want to tell you is don't work that coochie too hard because that cannot be your only hustle. The game moves fast and selling ass gets old real quick. You were on borrowed time, babe. Let's talk in the comments.